Hello and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, we have talked to Pyrrha and Simon, and we need now uh, to light up the furnace. Actually, we should just be able to pick up the torch because we expended our in weapon inventory before. Hot to know it shouldn't take lab if the flame is blue, the furnace is hot, do not touch. That was the wrong one anyway. Okay. There we go. I'm trying not to climb. Hmm. 
just normally it's somebody sitting there. Well, it is night. Yawn. Linky, thank you so much. Now then, take a look over there. The guidance stone must be starting to react. There's nothing mysterious about it. This is pure science. <laughs> My sweet little guidance stone, you sure know how to make this old researcher's heart flutter. Well then, let's go ahead and restore those Sheikah Slate runes for you. Give me a nice snap. Go on, no time to be shy about it. Snap. Nice one. Okay then, Sheikah Slate Repair underway. Guidance Stone Lock removed. Now, let's do this thing. Sheikah Slate Authenticated. Camera, Hyrule Compendium, and Album Missing Files confirmed. Starting repair. A rune has been added. Repair complete. <laughs> and it's done. So, is it all fixed up now? Hmm, let's see here. Which one is it? Camera, Hyrule Compendium album. Yep, looks good. So I know this is sudden, but hear me out. Take a picture of me with the camera. Oh, and don't forget to let me see it. Okay. Uh, wrong button. Self portrait. Wrong. Freaking. Button. Let's see. Okay, fine. I'll just take a picture. Thank you. 
Snap! How's the picture taking going? Did you get a cute pic of me with the camera? I took one. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Let me see, let me see. Hmm? My, who is this beautiful young creature? Huh? Oh, I guess that's my cue. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. It wasn't on purpose. Hmm. Ah, uh, it's not just a pretty girl in these images. Yes, there are also some old landscape photos stored in the album. I knew Princess Zelda had made frequent use of the camera feature, but this... Hey, Linky, it dawns on me that you were Princess Zelda's appointed knight, which means there's a strong possibility that you accompanied her to all of the places where these pictures were taken. <sighs> oh, right. The lost memory thing could prove troublesome. But don't lose hope. It just means these pictures could be the missing piece to help restore your lost memories. If my hunch is correct, I suggest you check in with Impa. She knows even more about Princess Zelda than even I do. Oh yeah, there's just one more thing I need from you. You don't have to worry about this until after you see Impa, but I want you to bring me back some ancient materials. Bring them either to me or to Robbie at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. As if my joy weren't enough, if you bring us ancient materials, we'll give you something good as a reward. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Hi. Good evening. What do you need? Sheikah Slate? The Sheikah Slate. The Sheikah Slate is a device that our Sheikah ancestors developed to bring peace and order to Hyrule. The runes contained in your Sheikah Slate are also something we Sheikah developed. I'm so relieved to know that you'll be using this device for the betterment of Hyrule, Link. If such a device ever fell into the hands of evil, I shudder to think what might happen. Is there anything else you need? Ancient Tech Lab? The Hatano Ancient Tech Lab is where we Sheikah researchers study the scientific contributions of our ancestors. We aim to apply our findings to the world of today and to unravel the mystery of the shrines and divine beasts. I'm personally interested in exploring these entities from a geopolitical and structural engineering point of view. The potential of using modern methods to reconstruct and iterate upon the past is simply too... Oh, putting you to sleep, am I? Well, speaking in terms that may be of interest to you, to develop technology to effectively seal Ganon, the infinite evil that has plagued Hyrule throughout time. We believe this can be achieved by studying and improving upon the creations of those who came before us. Is there anything else you need? Bye. Okay then. Oh yeah, I need to upgrade my camera before I can get the quest that I was thinking of right there. So, with that done... Yep. Hmm. Alright, let's uh, look at the event adventure log. Wait. Wow. Hey! Something on your mind? Something good? 
Aha! I'm glad you asked. If you bring me some ancient materials, I'll power up your runes. You will need three ancient screws to power up your Sheikah sensor. You'll need three ancient shafts to power up your remote bombs. You'll need three ancient cores to power up stasis. If we're on the same page, stop staring at me. Hurry up and bring me some ancient materials. Yeah, sure, we'll do that in a second. Let's not pick that up because... Oh, because Simon. But... Pura's Diary. Research Diary for Anti-Aging Rune Classified for Pura's Eyes Only. First page. Date. Or date unknown. Work has finally begun on my anti-aging rune. If all goes to plan, I believe it will effectively reverse the aging process. This technology will enable us to make retired warriors l young again. When Calamity Ganon inevitably returns, we'll be ready. Our offense will be solid and our defense impenetrable. The need for this tech pains me, but I truly hope to use it to attain everlasting peace for all. Day unknown. The beta version of my anti-aging rune is complete. I have already added it to the Sheikah Slate I made for myself. Since I am to be the test subject of this experiment, Simon booted up the rune and directed its rays at my body. After 20 seconds of exposure, I felt extreme fatigue and broke into a fever, forcing us to cease the experiment. Unable to stay awake, I went to bed immediately. Tomorrow, I will try to figure out what went awry. Anti-aging experiment, tri experimental trial day two. My extreme full body fatigue has slightly improved, for which I am grateful. Still, I do not recognize the face in my mirror. My hair is thick again and floor length. My wrinkles, once deep as trenches, have vanished without a trace. It seems the anti-aging effect works. However, I did not expect the reversal to happen so frighteningly fast. This morning I kicked Simon awake and had him run a full physical exam on me. My height, weight, vision, bone density, heart, blood. We tested everything we could, pushing our facility to its limits. Our discoveries were startling. My results were typical of a Sheikah woman in her early 50s. In other words, I reversed my age by more than 70 years in a single night. I can only hope I do not awaken to find I have the body of a newborn baby. Anti-aging experimental trial day three. I awoke with an abundance of energy. It has been decades since I slept so well. Upon waking, I immediately checked the mirror, only to be greeted by a youthful version of myself. According to Simon's examination, I have the body of a chic woman in her, in her thirties. I was around that age when I was first able to continue my research following the Great Calamity. The first thing I did was try to figure out how to expand the functionality of the Sheikah sensor. I was around 80 years old when that expansion was completed. I intend to bequeath this tech to our sleeping hero. I hope to the gods that he will be able to assist in the destruction of the calamity that swallowed our princess Zelda whole. Anti-aging experimental trial day four. After today's routine physical, the results show that I have the body of a chic woman in her 20s. I haven't felt this good in a century. This is all taking me back to when the Great Calamity happened. Ganon had been dormant for 10,000 years. Perhaps his power had been building all that time. The slaughter that followed was arbitrary and merciless. The destruction complete. 
We lost everything. Hyrule Castle, Princess Zelda, well, perhaps not everything was lost. A youth named Link was brought to me a hundred years ago, covered in wounds and on death's doorstep. Link, so young yet so courageous. He was the youngest knight to have ever been appointed to the Imperial Guard at Hyrule Castle. He was also a gifted swordsman who was selected as captain of Princess Zelda's personal guard. I thought his skills would be enough to defeat Ganon in glorious fashion. Since ancient times, the royal family of Hyrule and Ashika researchers have had a strong bond. Their pain is our own. We took the swordsman and the Sheik's late Princess Zelda left behind to the Shrine of Resurrection. Although the slumber of restoration had not been fully tested, we decided to put the swordsman under to save his life. It was the best we could do. Anti-aging experimental trial day 5. I awoke to something horrifying, a scarlet lump scarring my otherwise youthful face. After analyzing this monstrosity, I have come to the conclusion that it is just a pimple, a big one. The results of today's physical exam indicate that my body and mind have reverted to those of a teenager. I feel like Simon looks at me differently, which irritates me. I got angry when he insisted on running my blood test for me. I mean, really. What even? I can do it all by myself. In any case, I wonder what experiment I should focus on next. The blue flame in the furnace outside is growing weaker by the day. I do hope the guidance stone doesn't stop working. Anti-aging experimental trial day 6. My age reversal has progressed further still. I now look and feel like a 6 year old. My height has regressed so much that I can no longer reach things in high places. It's super annoying. Where is that genius swordsman we placed in the slumber of restoration anyway? Wake up already! If he doesn't awaken soon, my future expansions for the Sheikah sensor will go to waste. But even if he does manage to wake up, how can I be sure he'll find me here? I want to go and just kick Linky awake, but I doubt Simon would help me. It'd be hard with my six-year-old body anyway. Instead, I think I'll begin working on a rune to unreverse my aging process. Anti-aging experimental trial day 7. This morning's exam results indicated that I am still age 6, same as yesterday. Perhaps my age reversal has stopped. As luck would have it, today I also finished developing the beta version of an age boosting rune. If successful, this should be able to reverse the effects of the anti-aging rune. I hope it will, anyway. All I need to do is increase the output and expose myself to its rays. However, when I tried to add this feature to the Sheikah Slate I made, I found that the Guidance Stone had stopped. Once more, the blue flame in the furnace outside has gone out. I sent Simon to the Ancient Furnace, but he was too clumsy and was raining, and nothing went to plan. So I had to go down there to help, but a girl in the village saw me. What a mess I've made. Not only am I unable to continue my research in this state, I can only work by the light of gas lamps. What to do? Anti-aging experimental trial day 6. Oh. Yeah, well, hopefully your age boosting thing doesn't have the same ex uh, accelerated issues that uh, your age reversal did because then you just might die.
Hmm. Guess not. Okay, well, that's gonna have to do it for this episode. When we come back next time, we will go hunting for some ancient parts. So, until then, see ya, and bye.